UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here we go. The weight and the hype gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Strong straight left there. What a punch. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. That was a thudding leg kick. Another shot lands upstairs. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Landed a big kick there. Right punches there. Big knee. Oh, straight right. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, perfect head kick there. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big head kick lands. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Seconds to go in this one. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh, my goodness. What a round. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Second round here. off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Nice kick. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Big head kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Look at him 
Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Big punch lands. Ooh. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nicely done with the head kick. He blocks the punch. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. <laughs> he's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh! Oh! What a fantastic strike! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh, he got it! He got it! Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. And here we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. So the celebration.